Hi, I'm Carmel Fisher and we're live at the LD Micro 14th edition in Bel Air, California. And with me, I have chairman of the board of directors, Mr. Ramin Haydapur from the company Invisible Interactive Inc. Ticker YNVYF. Welcome, Mr. Ramin. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Invisible is a, is a leading manufacturer of electrochromic displays. Electrochromic displays are bicolor, low profile, low energy plastic displays that can either replace liquid crystal displays or indicators. Interesting. Yes. Very interesting. What is what is the main uh, growth strategy that you have in place? We have targeted three markets, three verticals. The medical market, the smart label markets, interactive smart label market, right. and smart play. These are the three verticals we are focused on, where you can have line of sight displays on products, be it your credit card, be it your di medical diagnostics, active wound care, or smart play. Fantastic. So that, that's our three growth markets. We are, le we are working with leading customers in each verticals, and we believe there is an untapped market need which we are addressing. Amazing. So, you know, a lot of businesses and the world in general was impacted with COVID, right? COVID-19. Mm -hmm. How do you plan on overcoming any challenges you were faced with? We are at the early stages of our business. So we are working, most of our customers, we are in the development. So from a development perspective, we did not see a significant hit on our business. Right. So we were fortunate enough that we did not have a existing business that was affected by COVID. But our development projects, some of them got, got slowed down a little bit, but did not have any major impact on our financials. Okay, so, you know, COVID had its impact, but there are multiple challenges that face many businesses. Can mm -hmm. you touch on what some of those are for Invisible? For us, it's focus. For us, it's focus. We are working with a lot of exciting applications at face value, right. but we need to align ourselves with opportunities where we bring the best value, the biggest value for our customers. So focus and execution. Execution in terms of uh, product design, product scale up, and time to market. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what can you tell us in terms of where you see Invisible in say the next two or three years? We would be a, we would be a self-sustaining business profitable, self-sustaining business with lead customers that demonstrate the full potential of our, of our technology and our value offering with a portfolio of products for growth. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so a bit of your personal business history, can you touch on that and why you chose to be on the board of Invisible? Uh, I'm a product development person by, by training and by profession. And uh, I have a lot of energy and a lot of passion for printed electronics in general and displays, plastics displays in particular. I find Invisible being at an inflection point where we can take a promising and well-developed technology to the market where we can bring value for customers in important verticals of healthcare, smart cards, and smart plate. Fantastic. It sounds like a very uh, wonderful product. Um, are there any specific samples or examples that you'd like to share with us? Yes, yes. This is one sample that I like a lot. Uh, it incorporates an RFID, which RFID is a microprocessor right. that's attached to, a, to an antenna. Great. So yeah. you see a microprocessor that's attached to an antenna. It's a typical RFID that you see in your library books or in your yeah you keep talking in your library books or in your uh garments tags for garments we connect that to a display with rfid you don't have a line of sight to what information is in the tag itself we can add a display to an rfid tag together it brings it brings a powerful value proposition to the consumers because now they can have, they can see the information that is embedded in the chip. So it's the promise and the potential of putting a display to a 
to an intelligent tag. So that's one example. It can either be an alphanumerical uh, display or it can be an indicator. Awesome. Can you touch on, uh, very exciting by the way. Thank uh, you. But can you touch on what is it, what's the hope of, of the you know, achie achievement with the recent partnership with Pragmatic? Excellent question and thank you for asking that. It actually blends in very well to what I was talking about. Pragmatic has a technology where it can, they can print the microprocessor. The promise of pro printing the microprocessor is very powerful. Now imagine we print our displays, they print the microprocessors, we can print the antenna. So on one go, on one machine, we can develop a full, fully intelligent label where you don't have to take a chip, a microprocessor chip, place it on an antenna with a display. We can print the display, the microprocessor, and antenna all in one go. Wonderful. Streamlined operations. Streamlined operation. Fantastic. The full potential of printed electronics. So in closing, what final remarks do you have and what is the key takeaway that you would like viewers, potential investors, and perhaps existing investors to know about Invisible Interactive? We have a well-developed technology. We have a great product. We have the best electrochromic display product in the market. We have a strong technical and business development and manufacturing team and we are we are honored to have a group of customers who are working with us to bring this product to the market in the near future wonderful Thank wonderful you. thank you so much mr romian from invisible interactive with the ticker ynvyf i'm kamel fisher and you're watching sequoia spotlight thank you